let's try this out now. Is that better? Yeah. Are we good now? Do we have a microphone for Dwyer? There's a microphone right next to you, Dwyer. Just in case you need it. Hey. All right. Hello, Dwyersville. I mean, Dyersville. That was good, too. We wish that Amy Madigan could be here tonight because she did such a perfect job and she was so perfectly cast as Kevin Costner's wife. The gentleman who played her brother, Kevin's brother-in-law, was a skeptic. This can't work. What are you doing? We're all going to go broke. But he was an essential character in the film. And he was played by Timothy Busman. Timothy. Thank you. And I'm not even going to go one film into this guy's filmography beyond the one we're here to talk about tonight. Because if you can, off the top of your head, list 10 iconic Kevin Costner films, you are not a citizen of the United States of America. You could not possibly be. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Costner. So many iconic films, but I've got the idea that if somebody says you can only pick three or four to put in a time capsule, this is what you want to do. Yeah, and number, um, number one, thank you for coming tonight. Um, so hard to make sense how to play baseball out here with 8,000 people hanging out. It, uh, I do travel the world. But, Movies do matter to people, uh, but where my career lines up, and I think in the anthem of movies made about America, uh, Field of Dreams never fails to be on the list uh, for not only myself, but for people. I think that Field of Dreams is really our generation's It's a Wonderful Life. And uh, you being here just resonates with that idea. It, it is a movie that ranks and, and doesn't seem to fade. Timothy, pick it up. Um, you know, Kevin plays this this guy from the, you know the '60s, and when I look out here, it feels like what it was like in the in the '60s and early '70s when, when people would pour out exactly and then lighting into the fields. And there was a despite the the time jumps in the movie from when he grew up, I think we all at, at the end of our lives wish that. Um, we had a perfect relationship with our parents as they died. Uh, we, nobody wants that fractured relationship. And the haunting that Ray goes through, uh, and the crowd here in front of me, it speaks to that period. Uh, and Dwyer and their relationship, short as it was, in the movie speaks to all of us. Dwyer, your, your own dad, as it happens, had passed away just a month before filming the Field of Dreams began. And then you wind up playing a dad reunited with his son. Yeah, it was uh, fairly confusing for me. I grew up on a farm in Ohio, so being back here on a farm in Iowa, and my dad so recently uh, dead and, and playing catch, it was uh, quite an experience for me. But, the kind people who are here and all the great people on the film made it a great experience and all the people who have come up to me over the years have, have made it just uh, one of my favorite experiences in film, so thank you. 